need wood. We need to decide what wood we're going to use. So it's a gray bridge, similar to there. We could potentially use prismarine, because that's got slabs and stairs. So we could, we could go that route. That could be kind of cool. What does that look like next to this? Hmm. It's a lot of green around. I kind of want to go brown. I know it's old school, but sometimes if it ain't broke, you don't fix it, right? This is a little bit lighter. I don't think there's enough of a contrast there, though. That's the only thing. If it was a darker building, it would work. If it was a darker building, but... Nice thought. We need more stairs, more things that have the right colors. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think I have any bricks. I might have bricks in the terracotta thing. I do. I don't think this will look good. No. Maybe, maybe in a different style build, but not right here. I also don't like roofs that go up in solid blocks, like super steep. I find them feeling very, very first day in Minecraft. So I think we're down to deciding between dark oak and probably spruce. That's probably where we're gonna have to hang our hat. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of want to put one more on top of that as like an out layer. Something to get us up to or an out to the next, the next phase. Because so I think if we just start the roof, because I want the roof to come down as well. So like, for example, something like this. Starting the roof, I think if we still do something like that there and then come down on the ends, then we could then come down there. No. We have to come down here. Need my axe now. These are a little bit tricky to build at first, but once you've got them down, they look really cool. And then you just get rid of this, I think. So yeah, see that comes down really low. So let's not do, let's not do that. We're, we're gonna have to have these be a higher, a higher start. The thing to do, I guess, might be to figure out where we want the lowest part of the roof to be. So as we're walking by this thing, I really don't think I want the roof to be any lower than say that. Yeah, so we'll have to start there and go up. And I should be smart and grab myself some ladders. And I'm wondering actually, if we could, instead of going just straight up um, blocks here, if we could also come out with stairs, if that would help. Because it would give us an extra bit on the end here. Oh, I need to get over this way. Always a little bit tricky. That, and then we get rid of this. So let's see what that looks like there. So it might start to feel a little bit claustrophobic if we get the same kind of extended um, roof 
on both towers. It might start to feel a little bit tight. But from here, we could easily have um, more slabs. Did I bring any? I didn't bring any spruce blocks, but so from here we could have, you know, the roof go out there and then have this maybe, maybe three and then it could go down one. Oh, did not mean to do that. Um, let's make a door, which I think destroyed my ladder, but that's okay. So this would be down and in a little bit like that. And then where does it go from here? I'm thinking that this is probably going to look better. It's also going to match the in, which is nice. I need to go back and watch one of Jancy's videos. He was pump pumping out these roofs really, really quickly. Yeah. We're we're gonna go with the dark oak. Uh, not that shape, but we're definitely gonna go, definitely gonna go with the dark oak. Let's do that ladder inside. That seems like it would make a little bit more sense, right? So we can chop these down. Uh, we've decided on the dark oak color. And at this point, we may want to think about doing a, a shorter, uh, a shorter tower on this side. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see, but we want to do this. And so this is essentially where we would want the roof to start. So rather than messing around with the overhang shape, which I can, I can screw around with later, let's focus on the profile of the roof. So I'm thinking that we want to go up by probably a block and a half here like that. And then we'll go up by another block. That brings us almost into the middle. Like these are not going to be small. So another block there, probably another block and a half there. And then in the middle, we're going to go block. And then I don't have any cobblestone walls or fences, but that's essentially where we're going to create like a point. I've been wanting to do roofs like this for a really long time, so this is kind of exciting. So I like it. I just don't like the Like, I feel like this overhang is going to feel like it's a bit much. I feel like it's going to put them both really close together. It's going to create a cool arch, granted. I'll give it that. So I want to do something like this something like that. I don't like the color change, but we're stuck. We can't can't really do anything else. And I'm thinking that it's still a little bit on the on the wide side, but we can we can maybe do something about that when we try the other do the other side. We can try something different over here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just do this. Just for fun. Let's go over here. So instead of having this overhang here, what I think we can do is test to see what this would look like if the roof was instead supported by the stairs. And maybe the stairs are not everywhere. Maybe the stairs are only in key places like there. Uh, one, two. Hmm. Actually, don't know. So we'll do this. We can chop some of these away. 
And so what did I do over there? It was a block and a half, I think. I don't know if I have enough dark oak to do this. So it was a block and then stairs. And then let's switch to... Um, no, I think I have enough. We should be okay. So I think this was also... That was just a block. And then that looks like another set of stairs. And then block. I think we're now at this. This is going to be a shorter roof. But we do this and then the fence, right? So I think in theory these should be different. <laughs> that's that's the plan. They should be different, slightly different shapes. I need to get rid of some of this here. This is going to be a, a trial and error, I think. I've not done one of these before, so it's not like it's old hat. So if, if I look like I'm struggling, then it's let's learn together because <laughs> I've not done one of these before. I've seen it done. I've just not actually done it. I know the basic principles of like going up by different chunks. So I feel like that's all right. It would be different over here. We would have like this, that, that, and then, and then probably, oh, I think it's going to look like it doesn't hang over enough. I think that's probably the, the issue we're going to run into. Like that, this, this looks better. It just gets really big. I guess we could always have the chair, the stairs back one. Like we could have that detail. We could try that. Let's do that. Let's grab, I just need some extra dark oak. Let's just pop up here and see what this would look like. If the stairs were instead where this is. So what if the stair level was here, like that, and that will get rid of this. Hmm, I don't like that either. I don't like that either. I think we have to just build this one all the way around and just kind of see what's up. I think that's kind of what we have to do. I need to see what this looks like when um, there's only a couple of stairs. So this is here, that, and I don't know how to do this inside. I think we do that, maybe slabs here, but then here we could do, oh, slab and then another slab slab there and this is the tricky part where things have to start to go down down lower but what i wanted to get underneath here and see is where these um stairs are supposed to go so i want to move this put that there and what if we had stairs like here and there, but upside down? I don't know if that's going to be enough of an overhang once we get the rest of the roof in. So we have to put something there. I feel like something has to go in here. I guess that this is where the roof would come down that if that makes any sense i can see how building these in creative is a lot faster and easier mm, still not great i'm still thinking we have to go with that one 
I guess we don't have to make them that steep, do we? We could we could have them be a little bit more more straightforward. It's a little bit more boring. I mean, like this is a mess. We I understand that this is a mess. Uh I kind of want them to be this high. So where is that? That is like a so one block lower. I need to try to make this one block lower, and then I think we have a, a success. Because that would be cool. That would be cool to walk under. I think we, we could even still do the the alternating stones here. Like we could remove this even on this side. And just have it be like a solid one there. Let's do the other side and see what that looks like. Yeah, you know what? I think that's I think that's gonna be solid for now. I think that's good. Um, I can always tweak it a little bit later. Uh, we'll have another. We'll have it. We'll have it be a little bit tapered on the inside. It might help once we've got all all four sides in. Uh, but that's a good height. They're not too close. I was worried that they were gonna be too close, like they were gonna be almost touching. But they're a good three blocks away, which is pretty good. I do want to see what it looks like from the other side because I'm I'm debating making these towers on the on the east side of the bridge taller. If not all of them, or not two of them, maybe just one. Like, how cool would it be if one of these towers was actually bigger on the other side? I think that might be kind of cool. I think that might be kind of cool. It is big, though, I have to say. I know the lesson that I've learned from building on Bastion is that everybody builds a lot bigger than I do, and I have to try and start to stretch my legs and build bigger. It's cool, but again, the roofs are just so so large it frames i never realized this but it frames the inn pretty well too doesn't it that's really cool so now when you're coming down down this i must have done that when i designed the bridge like this looks like it's really close to being straight it's not quite centered but i feel like this is really close to being centered um the original bridge probably was i might have nudged it over not thinking but that's cool i like that we can see the the inn on the bridge over there um yeah, I'm I'm happy with the plan. I'm feeling satisfied with this uh, this roof here on the left. We're gonna duplicate that and put it over there, and then we have to decide. We'll make at least this one. We'll try this tower, making it be uh, a lot larger. But unfortunately, that is all the time that I have. Uh, we've made a lot of progress. This bridge looks much much nicer. Uh, I might even just take a spin over here to uh, to the old tree and see what's up. See, for whatever reason up here, these things don't look so massive. It it feels a little bit more. It feels cooler, right? Like it doesn't feel as as overbearing. It might be just a perspective thing. Anyway, so I'm glad I'm glad we took a look up here. Quite happy with it. Um, but anyway, as the sun is setting. So is my time for streaming. Uh, I've enjoyed the time that I've had with all of you today. It was super, super fun. Appreciate all the input from the chat room. And uh, we've made a lot of progress on this, this very cool bridge. I'm really happy with it. Uh, if you want to see more of what I'm up to, uh, best thing to do is to follow me on Twitter. That's at Joel Duggan. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube where you will see some edited versions of these YouTube of these uh, Twitch streams. And that's again, just Joel Duggan. Chances are, if you're not here now, you're going to be watching this on YouTube later anyway. And tune into the Spawn Chunks. It is the spawnchunks.com. You can search for it by name on any podcast app. And that is the Minecraft podcast that I do with my friend Pixel Riffs or Johnny, depending on how long you've been hanging out with us. We have some interesting news for all of our Spawn Chunk members, the people that support us on Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, you can support me. If you go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, then you have a way to support the video work that I do. That includes the Minecraft videos, the YouTube videos, as well as the art streams that I do. I did an art stream just on uh, Friday night when I was working on an avatar for Logical Geek Boy. But that is going to be it for me, folks. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I will see you next time.